Oh, what's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome to a new game called Junk Punk. Now, I've never played it. We're hopping on in, and basically, uh, what it sounds like in from the description is a factory management base building exploration where we are on a horrible planet and we have to like prepare it for habitable life. Um, so there's gonna be like there's like there's like factory aspects, base building aspects, energy aspects, like a whole bunch of fun stuff. Um, we're these little robot dudes and we're gonna hop in and check it out hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things i'll have a link down below um they did send me a key to this so if you're wondering how i got it well they sent me a key so we're gonna hop into a new game and check this out i gotta say it actually looks pretty darn interesting i'm i'm quite excited to see what we got going on here begin robot initially initialization success leaf os running we must be running leaf <laughs> camera array Come on, camera array. Hey! Okay. We're here. Oh, look at this! Uh, motor hydraulics. That's gonna be our movement controls. Come on. Hydraulics initialized. Prepare yourself and find answers. Okay. Major system malfunction, damage detection. So it looks like we crash landed. Search through scrap for, scrap for resources. 30 scrap metal, uh, two steel scrap. Catastrophic entry failure cause unknown. Constructor crafting bench, crafting bench. Okay, so what do I do with this? Welcome to Leaf. Current function index tab open UI. Um, okay. Oh, foundations, things like that. Pillars. So we have like base player. Oh, basic recharging stations. Some machine shredders, uh, separator, smelter, fabricator, connections. We got connection points. We got farming stuff. We got power, water. Okay, cool. Um, opens inventory. So there's a little inventory. Interact. Okay. Oh darn! I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't see what else there was. <laughs> e something was laser. Hold on. Can I walk back up to this again? Okay. Here we go. F is laser. P is to pause menu. Escape is main menu. Left mouse to place. Right mouse to abort. Okay. Um, individual has landed on Luis. Has a total planet circumference of huge. Uh, estimated 11 billion souls were lost in the runaway event fossil analyze suggests unknown amount of oh my gosh okay all right so we got things to do so we need to craft a workbench what is this uh analysis progress the end of the ship is taking heavy damage there's no way we can get it back off the ground anytime soon the cargo contains seems to have been bef deployed before impact emergency procedure okay so this stuff right here is our scrap so i think oh there we go oh now, is this using power? Okay, so we have like battery. It looks like 99 battery. Uh, multiple resources detected on the planet surface. These can be used crafting, construct buildings, locations, multiple sites detected nearby. Okay, so this is giving us scrap. Okay, so what is this stuff over here? So this looks like a rubber, like tires. Uh, seems to be a mixture of variable scrap metals, analysis shows various uh, materials. Let's see what we got here. Rubber scrap. Okay. And then what was this stuff? This stuff's like a shinier looking scrap. It's just scrap metal. Okay. And then we need, we need steel scrap. Where might we find steel scrap? Is that, that wouldn't be from, Oh, what's this stuff? Looks like more, more of the same. Oh, there's like things flying around. This planet looks interesting. So I don't know if there's a story. I didn't I didn't read a whole lot. I don't read a whole lot. I'm terrible with things like that. I don't read a whole lot on things like that, but uh, the rubber jungle looks like it hasn't been here that long now. So it shows approximately 76 years ago. There would appear to be hundreds of tons of this resource. So I don't know what the deal is with the planet that we're on. Oh, we got steel scrap. Okay, so it's like a it's like a random random chance kind of deal. Okay, basic pump, basic scrap metal, gold scrap. Steel scrap. Okay. Construct a crafting bench. So I guess we're going to be building something like right down in here. Oh, it's super dark now. Okay. Um, base player connections, farming power, water. Um, I feel like we want a crafting bench. Okay. And then we can place it. Now, can we like rotate this? Oh, we can. Okay. So let's just get a crafting bench like right over here for now and then what does this allow us to do open crafting bench 
So E to interact. Okay, so recipes. Steel scrap ingredients, five scrap metal makes one steel scrap. Oh, so we can like refine stuff right here. Okay, uh, build a base. Foundations, pillars, large walls, doorways, roof, container, small. Okay, now do I want to build it in this area? Or do we want to build it like, ah, uh, probably. It'd probably be good to get like, you know, a basic thing built right here. So build a base. So base, now what is this stuff? Just take scrap metal, big foundation, foundation. That's a big foundation. That's a foundation. Okay, so let's see here. Are we on, can we, can we rotate this? No. Okay, so there is a grid to the game, which is cool. I like that actually, because uh, that allows things to like easily line up, you know? So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so there's that. Now, I don't know how big, I think that foundation's gonna be a little small for us. So let's, I mean, we're surrounded by scrap anyways. So let's just get a little bit more in here. Okay, we'll start with that. So a pillar, large wall. What do I need a pillar for? I don't, I don't really know, but it wants me to build one. Oh, I can't build it. What am I missing? Does it say what's required? Oh, steel scrap. Okay. Uh, what about a large wall? Scrap metal too. Okay. It wants me to build eight large walls. It probably wants me to enclose the thing. Now, is there a reason that I need to enclose my base? Also, is there a front and a back? Oh, this is the outside and this is the inside. Okay, cool. Just trying to think like if there's a, is there a reason that we want to enclose it? You know, oh shoot. How do I, how do I undo this? Um, Deconstruct maybe? No. Wrench this, this, this. How does one deconstruct? We can just laser it. Okay. All right. Laser works. All right. So we got walls, uh, a two by two doorway, a roof and a container. So a two by two doorway. Uh, I guess we need more large walls though, huh? So there's those, and then a container. Now, what is the roof? Roof, right there. So it doesn't really snap in, so I guess. Now I'm actually gonna be curious. Can I, can I just toggle first person? Is there a first person view? No, it doesn't look like there's a first person view. Okay. And the only reason I was saying that is because like if we're gonna if we're about to put uh a roof on here, I'm not gonna be able to see very much, I don't think. Oh, you know what? I bet you the pillar has to go in the middle. Because it doesn't look like I can actually build Oh, I'm out of resources now too. Okay. Uh open door. Hey, we opened the door. Okay, let me go grab some more scrap. Some more wonderful scrap stuff. Okay, and I, I need a little bit of steel. So let's go into here. Steel scrap. Uh, let's go ahead and craft. Oh, shoot. Oh, did I craft steel? Oh, I did craft steel scrap. Oh, cool. Okay. So let's head out of here. Actually, you know what? Uh, I just damaged that. Is this the repair deal? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, a ramp might actually be kind of handy. Do we have a ramp? Right there. Okay, and then let's get our uh let's get our roof. There. There. Now I don't know if I can actually put one here. I don't think I can. So I think we have to get a pillar. Maybe like that. 
Hey, okay. All right. Uh, oh, container small. Now, is that going to be a player? Container small. Oh, wow. That's not a, that's, that's not a small container. It looks pretty big. Go to the monolith. Okay, what's the monolith? Oh, that thing over there? Holy moly. Okay. Let's go take a let's go take a peek over there. Now, are we using So I see that we have a couple things in the left-hand corner. We have a green bar and a blue bar. Blue is battery, green, I'm going to guess is maybe health. Maybe we can take damage or something. I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be enemies or not either. I'm going to tell you right now though, this place is it looks huge. It looks like we have a big area to play with here. Um, <laughs> all right, let's cut through here. I love how we have to like actually like cut through the scrap to get to uh, get to where we're going. <laughs> There's so much junk here. Kind of reminds me of trashed a little bit. Like the planet is just like so destroyed and tr terribly trashed. Go to the monolith. What are we gonna see at the monolith? Um, oh, we also have a weather progress. Wind speed, local time, weather clear, solar. Oh, we have like solar charge, solar percentage. Okay, that's kind of cool. And like, look at that. Oh, there's a giant flying thing right there. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, this, I like this. I like the environment already. Um, because like the fact that they just have some like things floating around. I don't know if they do anything. Like just like these ships like cruising around, that's cool. It just makes the it makes the whole environment just feel alive. Like I'm just you know playing solo. It is a multiplayer game. It is multiplayer. So um, I might end up trying to get like MSC or somebody in here playing this with me because this could be kind of cool. This could be definitely a fun multiplayer game. Um, oh, what is this? What is this? I don't know what that is. It doesn't say what it is. I need like a scanner or something. <laughs> but we're going to go to this monolith. Oh, there's another building over there. What the heck is this? Oh, this looks like a giant like atmospheric cleansing machine. Like, look at all those fans. It definitely feels like an atmospheric cleansing machine. Oh. It's broke. I don't think there's any way I can get up there. Uh, I, I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, I don't think we can get up there. I think I'm gonna have to build. I think I'm gonna have to build to get up there. Can I, can I laser these? No. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to build to get up there. Um, okay, so building menu, base. How many, how many stairs is this going to take to get up there? <laughs> I bet it's a lot. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to line it up kind of. You know, let's do this. Let's do a foundation. And then let's do a stair on top of that. Oh, I can't do a stair on top of that. Oh, here. Okay, can I do a stair? Can I do another stair? I feel like I'm supposed to build up to this. Hmm. Might be easier just to build foundations and like jump up there, you know? All right, it's gonna be a lot of foundations, but. You know what? Let me go to the other side of this thing. Maybe we can, maybe there's another side. <laughs> I was wrong. There is not another side. Oh! Oh, I totally jumped up here somehow. 
Okay, it looks like I can walk on some of this, but not all of it. Can I walk up here? <gasps> oh, heck yes. Oh, can I build? Oh, it won't let me build here. Can't build anything here. Oh, darn it. Oh, I'm so close. Hut! I, you know, I don't know how we're supposed to fix it. Like, I guess maybe we are supposed to just build up to it. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I think we know what we have to do here. Yep. We've got to, uh, I think we have to build up to it like that. Okay. You know, what? I'm actually going to build a, um, I'm going to build a crafting bench over here. Cause I don't want to run all the way back. Perfect. So we're going to need a few, we're going to need a little bit of steel here. Steel scrap. Let's go ahead and get like, I don't know, 15 of those. And then let's go grab some more regular scrap. Uh, yeah. Okay. Regular stairs. S stairs are the, are the way. Okay. So in order to make it all the way there, we are going to need some foundations like all the way through like this. I like how this is like step two, uh, figure this whole thing out. <laughs> Maybe there's an easier way that's this is supposed to happen, but. Okay, so we're gonna need one there. We're gonna need a lot of these pillars. And I am out of the steel scrap again. We're gonna need so many pillars. Oh, not enough materials. Okay, let's go back and let's harvest some more. Ooh, we got like a storm here, dust storm. Not good. I don't think probably not supposed to be out in it but i don't see anything indicating that we shouldn't be um i got to this point i can't build any more stairs now i don't know why i have scrap i'm gonna grab more oh i'm so close but so far away you know, I almost wonder if I just can't build any further. Like, I wonder if I'm getting too close to this thing. It's weird because it let me build down there. Or maybe there's like a maximum height or something. I don't know. Okay, so I managed to get a stair here. It looks like there's a build height. I think that's what it is. Because it won't let me place pretty much anything anywhere else. Like, if I could just get up a hair taller. Like, look at how close we are to... Oh my gosh, we're so close. Player, can I put, like, what about a container? I'm trying to think if there's, like, any way that I can make it, like, want to work. Scrap metal, 20 scrap metal. I have 41. To throw a container, a bench, a crafting bench or something. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the pillar is not accessible at this time. Um, yes, so we're going to move on. We're going to go back to our base and we're going to start playing with some of the other stuff that we can build uh, because we got lots of machines here. Scrap metal, separator, smelter, fabricator, connections, farming, composter, planter. We got all these kind of things to play with. So we're going to go back over here and play with those because I don't, I don't think this is accessible. Now, I did a little bit of reading because I was trying to figure out if like, you know, in this current play test, if this is even available. And apparently what's actually really cool, and uh, I thought I saw this, but I wasn't 100%, is as you complete stuff for this monolith, this pillar, like I said, it's an atmospheric cleaner, the planet will actually start changing and becoming like, you know, nice and lush and grass and like water and stuff like that. Like it'll actually start becoming like blue skies and stuff. That's going to be super cool. I love, I love the idea of, of actually like doing stuff in a game and seeing the planet actually change around us, which I know in reality, you know, terraforming is like a, a, millions of years kind of that. Well, okay, maybe not millions, but like a long, it's a long adventure. But gameplay wise, I think it's super cool. So we're gonna head back over here and we're gonna actually start setting up a base with some of these machines possibly. I know we have this water source thing up here um, and I'm actually kind of like, I'm kind of tempted just to build up here, but I don't, no 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, I have no idea what to do. So, I think I'm actually going to do the base building right here. This is a nice, big, open, clean area. And we're close to everything. We're close to that water stuff up there. So, we're going to do the base building here. But, uh, one thing that I think we need is I think we need to get a charging thing going here. So, let's see here. I can't rotate these. So, let's go ahead and let's get uh, something going in here like that. And then what do I need for player basic recharge station? Scrap metal 20. Copper scrap 5. Steel scrap 2. Basic capacitor 2. What is this? It's a basic pump. Okay, so let's get a crafting bench. And let's access this bad boy. Can we make a basic capac... Oh... No, we cannot. Recharge station stealing, get copper, and get gold, and get circuit boards. How do we get plastic? I'm going to guess that's going to be... That's probably going to be along the lines of some of the other machines. What do we need for this? Copper scrap, large gears, small gears, large gears. Scrap metals, small gears, large gears, copper scrap. Okay, I think I have enough for one of these. Let's put that in here. Can I charge on this? Like, can I charge myself? Power splitter, wind generator, scrap wind generator. Um, I'm feeling like crafting bench, recharge station. Basic capacitor times two. And I, I don't know, have are these, is this plastic scrap? This isn't scrap that we can take, is it? No. Maybe rubber has a chance to give us plastic scrap? Because this is regular, oh! Electronic scrap circuit board. Basic capacitor, okay! Never mind, I think we're good. We'll grab it from this stuff. This looks like the electronic stuff. Resistors, wire spool, wire spool, wire spool, electronics. I need basic capacitors. Um, I only have one. We need one more. Basic capacitor. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's get working on this now. Cause I think my I think my power is gonna be the issue here. <laughs> so let's go into here. And we need, we do need some steel scrap. We need two of those. And then I need some more regular, uh, regular Garbo scrap. Okay, so basic recharging station. I think we have everything we need for this. Now we can place it on the ground. Or we could place it right here. You know what? Let's get, uh, let's get some more foundations in here. And then let's get a basic recharge station right there. And then power, uh, we're probably gonna need some kind of power merger, power splitter. Is there like a wiring tool? Oh, this is like repair. Okay. Um, that's repair mining. Is there like a power? Oh, connections. Um, belt merger, scrap, power cable. Okay. I want to go from here. Power cable. I want to go from here to here. Maybe we need a power merger. How do I hook up power to this? This is exporting for, this needs to input. Connections, power cable. Maybe I don't have the stuff for that. Is there a power cable? Oh yeah, there is a power cable, which requires copper scrap and rubber scrap. Okay, I made two of those. Can we? Hmm. It looks like we might have to have... It doesn't look like we can directly connect to that. So let's go ahead and take 
that out. Power cable. So it looks like we might have to have a power splitter. But I need scrap metal, two circuit boards, basic capacitor, and steel scrap. Okay. Let me go harvest some stuff here. We're getting a little, uh, we're getting a little, oh, wait. There's an input and an output. Oh, you know what? I'm a dummy. I bet you. Connections. Power cable. I bet you we run from there to there. Oh, my gosh. Am I charging? <gasps> 46? 48? Oh, I'm charging up. Okay. All right. I'm a dummy. <laughs> okay. So now, okay. Now that I, now we can get an actual base going here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We got, we're getting things figured out. So let's start off. Let's start off with getting a big, uh, a big, huge foundation area going, so we can just build machines and whatnots on it. Now let's see. Look at our base pieces. Foundation five, big foundations ten. Now small foundations that big, big foundation. Oh, we should actually be using big foundations because it's actually cheaper. Yeah, because it's it's actually four small foundations, but half as much. Awesome. Okay, so now we have a foundation to work with here. Perfect. So let's actually go ahead and let's get the, let's move this guy. And then let's get this guy, where do we want this? Machines? Okay, you know what? We're gonna have power over here. So let's have, let's do player container small. Actually, let's go with a large container. Actually, no, let's just go with a small container for now. And we'll just put that like right there. And then open container. Okay, so we can fit some stuff in there. So let's go ahead and let's put... Oh, there's no shift click. Oh, you've got, you developers, you have to add a shift click to move stuff around. <laughs> Steel scrap, contaminated silicone, interesting. Trying to add like the random stuff into here. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, a decent power grid might be something that we're gonna end up wanting, but right now we're okay. All right, so what else do we have? We have a recharge station, we have a basic recharge station, machines, shredder, scrap metal, large gears, a separator, scrap metal, large gears. So those are machines, this is farming. Composter, planter, dirt extractor, and plant humidifier. So I'm not sure what these do. I don't know what a shredder does. I don't know what a separator does. And I also don't know where we... So do we collect everything by hand and maybe put it into containers? Do other containers maybe have like conveyor ports on them or something? Oh, container large. Oh, I can see this one has a port on it. So we might want this. How much rubber scrap do we have? We don't have much. A shredder and then a separator. Hmm. Scrap metal, large gears, copper scrap smelter and a fabricator so i'm thinking maybe we go with a large container and then run that into a separator of sorts so i kind of want to go through and i kind of want to make each machine here um so scrap metal large gears and copper scrap large gears we've got copper scrap I think we can build this guy. Okay, so we've got output. Oh, input's up there. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just let's just set this there and let's kind of see what this guy does. So machine controls E. 
Separator. Crafting. No recipe selected. Recipe. Input storage. Output storage. So we can have it separate. Oh. Ingredients. Okay, so steel scrap is scrap shredded. Scrap shredded. Oh, this is all... Unpowered. These are all... So this turns shredded scrap into shred so shredded stuff into regular stuff okay so let's see let's see what the machines do um large gears five and scrap metal 20 okay i have enough for that so let's go ahead and check out this guy and then this does what Turns one scrap metal into two shredded scrap. Plastic scrap into plastic shredded. Rare metal scrap into rare metal shredded. Okay, so this actually shreds the stuff. Okay. See, I was thinking the separator would separate things. But it almost seems like the separator is like a smelter. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So then what does a smelter do? Large gears. I don't have enough stuff. Let's go uh let's go grab some more stuff. See if we can get can't get some large gears. Are we getting large gears from these? I haven't really been paying attention. Let's see here. No, we're not getting large gears from this stuff. Maybe it was this stuff? The wire spools and stuff? No, this is all electronic stuff. Okay, so that's electrical scrap. This is like regular scrap. And then this over here is probably rubber and plastic scrap. We get lots of rubber scrap. What's the, uh, what's the other thing? We got a rubber spool, okay. So where were we getting those large gears from? You know what? There was a silver scrap pile over here. Let's go check that out. So this stuff. Oh, it's just more scrap. Oh, no, we did get some gears from this. So maybe, maybe regular scrap does give us gears. And maybe I've just harvested so much that we've gotten, we've managed to actually get some. Yeah, see, there's another large gear. Okay. All right. So I was actually chatting with the devs and, uh, I got it to work. So the floors seem to help. It, it, there is a, uh, there's like a, a, a support structure similar to Valheim. So that's why I was having issue with the beams because the beams can only go up so high, but adding these floors in seemed to like make things work. So now we can actually manage to get up here. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was like, there's no way. And then they're like, uh, yeah, it's accessible. So, oh my gosh, we did it. Oh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. <gasps> Local environmental automated fabricator. Oh my gosh. I have been trying to connect to your systems. There is a corruption due to the crash. What the heck? I have a sentient AI tasked to help restore this land. We are far behind schedule. We must recover this is super this cool. as quickly as possible. I gotta say, this monolith looks amazing. Like, the inside of this thing is sick. Okay, so, construct the tech key and activate the first stage. Status locked, tech key locked, biological key locked. Quantum dagger data integrity loss, stability 100% atmospheric uh, calculations process. Okay, so... Tech key constructor. Um, oh my gosh. We need a hundred resistors, a hundred basic capacity. So this is the reason for the automation. I, you know, I was kind of wondering, I was like, okay, so why do we need machines to like automate everything? This is the reason we need a hundred resistors, a uh, hundred basic capacitors, 25 circuit boards, 50 basic processors. Oh my gosh. And that's gonna get us the tech key in the first stage. And then there's a biological key and then a final stage activate monolith world transformation. Ho, 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 That is super cool. Okay, hold on. There's an elevator going up and down here. Let's check this out. This is amazing. Okay, so what do we got up here? 
does it go up again oh wait it does go up again okay so we've got like all kinds of computer systems in here uh biological key activator auto seed synthesis what is this c generator alpha beta gamma delta epsilon what do these do auto seed synthesis oh oh we get seeds from here wait so can i hold on if i open up my do i take these oh it's making seeds for us to play oh my gosh that is super cool that is so cool <laughs> i love it okay uh let's wait for this guy to come back up let's go up to the, the top floor top floor baby let's do it what do we got up here okay and then this must be like uh hold on let me throw that away okay um tech key activator so once we have a tech key we can activate it via that so the biological key must be down below and my guess is the biological key requires so many uh plants right am i right let me guess uh yes plant alpha beta gamma delta epsilon oh my gosh water bucket soil bucket gold ingot and aluminum ingot oh my gosh this is super cool this is awesome i am loving this i am absolutely loving this this is super cool but that is actually going to end this episode um, i was kind of all over the place but we got to figure it out um like i said the this construction part right here it just it kind of it kind of tripped me up a little bit because i wasn't really sure what's going on but now i kind of have a basic understanding so that's super exciting now i understand why we have automation stuff so we got a lot of things to automate to get going in order to get our keys going we got plants that we got to start growing oh my gosh i am so excited but um yes that is going to end it this is junk punk and we are going to continue because this is amazing and i'm having a blast hopefully you did too if you did make sure you leave a like i'll have a link down below to their steam page if you want to check it out um their planned release date is november 12th so approximately like two ish weeks so super exciting uh, but yeah make sure you stay tuned for more because oh we're gonna be doing the things we're gonna be doing the stuff and i cannot wait so uh you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you next time